Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So I just got done filming a marathon of a video. It's probably gonna be a half an hour long of all of the recommendations I have during the Sephora sale. It's a lot though. So if you're somebody who is like, just give me a small list, this video is for you. I'm gonna talk about the top five products that I recommend you pick up during the Sephora sale. Okay, first thing is a hair care product from the brand Dry Bar. I discovered Dry Bar this year. I fell in love with their products. This blow dry brush is amazing, you guys. I actually bought the Dyson Hair Wrap during the last Sephora sale. Didn't like it at all. I felt like it was such a waste of money. I sold it and this was my replacement for it. Obviously, it's not the same thing as the Dyson Hair Wrap, but it does the round brush portion of it, so it dries your hair and gives you that round blowout look all at once. So it's kind of like a multi-use product, great for moms. <laughs> I know I'm always trying to do everything faster and better as a mom. This is it. I think they have a couple of kits during the sale that come with like some full-size products. They have great products as well. One of the products I really like by them is their Hot Toddy Heat Protectant Spray. So I will link all of those kits and I'll link this Hot Toddy and this individually down below for you. Skincare is so important and skincare is so expensive. So buying it during the Sephora sale is definitely a really good idea. I have been pregnant this entire year pretty much. So my skincare routine has been very simple. Fresh Beauty, Rose, the entire Rose line is pregnancy safe, which is so exciting to me. Everything smells like Rose, but if you have dry skin or even like dry combo skin, this Rose Deep Hydration Oil Infused Serum is gonna be it for you. Not only does it smell like Rose, but it is so powerful, so amazing. When I stop using this, I can tell. My skin can tell. It almost instantly becomes dehydrated and crepey and just like dry looking. And then when I start using this again, it's back to its it's back to its bouncy, voluminous, plump, hydrated self. It's absolutely amazing. It's expensive, but you guys, it is so worth it. I use it AM and PM. It is by far my most favorite skincare product, I think ever, which is a big statement. The Rose Deep Hydration Face Cream is good as well. They reformulated that this this year, um, so it has more hyaluronic acid, more hydrating ingredients in it. So this is good too, but as far as being like a top, top product I recommend, definitely the serum. Okay, this next product I blame on you guys, but you know what, I'm so thankful you told me about it. It is a Sephora exclusive product. You can only find it at Sephora and it is the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in the color Party Party, P-A-A-R-T-Y. It is the most beautiful pink nude blush. It's what's on my cheeks today. It goes with absolutely every single makeup look. As you can tell today, I have a really deep fall look going on. It looks perfect. If you have an everyday natural light look going on, it looks perfect. If you have a red lip, it looks perfect. <laughs> it is just so pretty and it is such a cult favorite and I had no idea it existed. It's matte, which I'm a fan of matte blushes. I think it would suit lots of skin tones. If you're a nude blush fan, this is gonna be it for you. Okay, so that's product number three. Let's talk about product number four, this Dior Powder No Powder. <sighs> I was heavily influenced to purchase this because of YouTube. I regretted it kind of instantly because I was like, when am I ever going to use that? I wear powder foundation. There's no reason for me to have like some sort of powder, no powder. What the heck? But it is so good, you guys. It is a multi-purpose powder. I find it works best. So if I get like mascara or eyeliner all over my face and I need to go in with a Q-tip to fix it, my powder or my concealer inevitably gets messed up. So I will go in with this powder, no powder and a brush fix it, it looks so good. It looks almost airbrushed, it looks so good and so flawless. If I'm wearing a mask throughout the day and I get home and take it off and my like nose makeup is messed up or my chin makeup is messed up, pop a little bit of this on, it totally fixes it. It's like a magic powder. <laughs> also, if you feel like you've gone in too heavy handed with your blush or your bronzer or if your lines are kind of wonky, going in with this kind of just gives it like a, a finish to it and it, it fixes it. I, I don't know, you guys. Okay, last thing, and then I do have two honorable mentions because of course I have two honorable <laughs> mentions. Bite Beauty finally released or re-released, relaunched their lipsticks. I was a huge fan of the original Bite Beauty lipsticks, but they discontinued them and they went on like hiatus for a couple of years. They're back and they're better than ever. This is the Power Move lipstick in the color Praline. I actually already have it swatched on my hand right there. It's the most beautiful pink 
like kind of a pink nude if you're a pink nude fan. They are matte finished and they have a vanilla scent to them, which I love both of those things. They're very comfortable matte though, so if you're somebody who doesn't like drying lipsticks, maybe you stay away from matte because you're afraid they dry out your lips, this one is good. I actually wore it all day yesterday. I was filming for like five hours straight. Okay, as far as honorable mentions go, I would be lying if I said this wasn't a top favorite product of the entire year. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize in the color Pillow Talk. I am no stranger to these Eyes to Mesmerize. I have every single color. I've made so many videos about them. They are the most beautiful cream eyeshadow one look eyeshadows if that's something that you're into but this color is new this year the color pillow talk these pink eyeshadows have been huge this year you can apply it with your finger you can apply it with a brush you don't need to wear any other colors with it it looks great on its own it has a little bit of a shift like a multi-colored shift to it okay who knew these were going to come up in this video <laughs> The Too Faced Killer Eyeliners have been a huge favorite of mine this year. If you like pencil liners, these are so good. They have a bunch of different shades of brown. It's what I'm wearing on my eyes today. It's what I'm wearing on my eyes every single day, really. Anytime I wear eyeliner this year, it's pretty much been these Too Faced Killer Liners. They're just so smooth and so soft. They smudge out well with a smudge brush, but then after they dry, they stay put. They don't collect in my tear duct or anything like that throughout the day, and... I just love them. Okay, can I throw in one more? I'm gonna throw in one more. This turned into seven, eight products real fast, but <laughs> the Natasha Denona Retro Palette. This palette is really good if you're a fan of like the pink, the pink trend, the pink eyeshadow, the pink nudes. Uh, this is gonna be it for you. You can get lots of different looks out of this. You can get an everyday look out of it. You can get a pink look. You can get a maroon look. You can get like a neutral brown look out of it. I've used it a ton. This is a midi size palette, so it's in the $65 range instead of the $100 range. If you're looking for a good gift for somebody, this is a really, it's, I mean, it's Natasha Denona. She is like the queen of eyeshadows. Okay guys, well those are my top five, well, probably more like 10 product recommendations for the Sephora sale. Happy shopping, it's the most wonderful time of the year. I will link everything down below for you for quick, easy access. 